Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna take a look at another holster, kind of a holster kit, I believe it is, from We The People. Let's look at it. All right, so yes, let's get the preliminary stuff out of the way. This holster was sent to me for review by We The People, right? So I didn't pay for this thing. Um, but that being said, as always, I try to give you my 100% honest opinion. And since I have no money in this product, I really don't care. As far as like, I don't have money, so I'm not trying to defend a purchase. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, and I'm gonna tell you. And that's what I've always told them when they sent me stuff. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. All right, so let's check this thing out. Um, the Freedom Platform Modular Holster. I think this um, I think this would be interesting. I asked them for the 48 version. I don't think they had a 48 MOS with the flashlight thing and all. Um, and I thought about other versions to get because I know they got a bunch of different other kinds. But the 48 is the one we got right here today. Um, we'll try to see how it works. We'll try to run it and, and, and see. But right now, today, this is not the review. This is the unboxing overview kind of thing. There you go. It's a nice presentation of your holster. Big old thing here. And a bunch of little baggies. Looks like you're getting ready to go sell something. Alright, so let's bust all this stuff out. Alright, and take a look at everything. Wow, everything's in a bag, in a bag. Alright, this might take a minute. But you know what? Since this is the overview, we're just going to go through this, and if I cut things, just me opening up like the next package, that's what we're going to do. But we're going to go through this. I think, yes, I did get all this stuff in the, um, whatever this is, like the carbon fiber deal. All right, so here's the holster, right? That's in your first big bag. All right, your next bag, I really need to sharpen that knife. Well, your next bag has, this looks like a mag caddy thing, right? So your mag caddy deal. All right, your next bag has, okay, your little loop thingy, right? So how you attach everything all together, whatever you would want to call that. It's an elastic loop with like the little thing on the end, ah, little thing on the end to uh, keep it tied together, basically. Uh, hardware, holy cow, looks like you went to Lowe's. Um, so there's a lot of hardware in there, Freedom platform hardware. That's what it is, right? So a bunch of hardware. We'll just set that that guy to the side. All right, your belt clips. These are your, yeah, your belt clips, all right? Oh, okay. This is your paddle. So if you're going to wear it as a paddle holster kind of thing, then here's your paddle, right? That's that guy. Next, we have more clips, right? Different size clips. Okay. So these are clips, not loops. The other ones, I actually think the other one said clips. Yeah, the other one said clips. These are enclosed clips, right? So you feed your belt through here. You get four of those. Um, but you also have clips, like your standard clip kind of thing uh, that goes on your belt. And they're angled. So that's kind of nice. They're angled kind of like another company that I've worn before. Um, so that actually helps push the gun into you a little bit. That's actually nice. That's, that's very thoughtful, right? It's a smart thing to do in my opinion. All right, and then this last one we got here is the single clips, another clip. All right, so a bunch of attachment uh, possibilities that you got here. Cool, they even have a big American flag on the inside. That's nice. But anyway, I'll drop that. All right, that's all our basic unpackaging stuff. Let's look at this really quick. Put that guy in the background, nice and pretty. Um, so let's look at, look at this real quick. Where's the gun go? Here's the gun. We are clear and safe. Holster and gun, yeah, oh, okay, okay. I have had problems before with some holsters and some companies where you go to put the gun away and it's a mush at the end, it's not a solid click, it's like, is it really in there, is it not? Okay, listen, again, nice, solid, tactile, audible click. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. That's how it should be. Nice, good click, so you know it clicked in. That's, okay, that's good. That's a big deal to me, that really is. Um, S15 magazines, little, little tight, but uh, whole thing's adjustable. We'll see, we'll play around with it, all right? But that's that guy. Let's go ahead and set this up in, well, let's just set it up in a regular carry, how I would probably end up planning on carrying this guy as, as I normally would, all right? So let's do that real quick. All right, so that's kind of through, all right? Not sure exactly 
what I want to do with this part yet, but we're going to play around with it a little bit. But this makes a huge difference in concealability and, wow, I sound drunk. <laughs> this makes a big difference in concealability and comfort when you have that flex. In my opinion, it really makes a good big difference, all right? Now, I might have to move this. This may not be the optimum place for this because it might end up just pushing into me and being a little uncomfortable, but that's okay. Next, let's go ahead and put on some of these angle clips because this is how I would see it best being suited for me. All right, so here we go. Um, I didn't go through all the process of everything. I probably th showed you snippets of it, not sure how I edited it, but there you go. That's basically what you get. It looks nice and flat, but with this crease in here and the bungee, you get plenty of movement. All right, so take our gun, goes down in here, nice audible click. I love that, love that. Magazine goes in the correct, proper orientation. It's a little bit tight. Let's see if we can fix that just a little bit. It's a little bit better, still a little tight, but we're gonna take this, stick it down in here, stick that guy down in there, and there you go. That is not bad at all. That's actually nice. All right. I know you can see everything going on right here, but kind of, I mean, it is right there. That's actually not bad at all. Um, it doesn't have a claw thing, and it didn't ship with any kind of a claw that I'm aware of that I'm seeing, right? So it didn't ship with any kind of claw to help at the very end push this in, but the way that these clips are working down here that you can't see that I'm pointing at, um, they do help push the gun in a little bit. And this is me wearing it for 15 seconds, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I put this thing on properly, right? I'm going to make sure the attachments are all on the way they're supposed to be on. Um, and I'm just going to run this guy for a little bit. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see. Um, how I really like it, what my real, real thoughts and real world experience is going to be with this kind of stuff. Um, and we're going to give it a good fair shake. Honestly, that's what we're going to do. Um, it is winter right now. We're going into winter wonderland mode, um, meaning that these deeper concealed carry kind of things um, can sometimes be covered up so much by jackets and stuff that... Um, it's hard to tell what's really, really concealable and what's just easily hid under a bunch of jackets, right? But we're still gonna give it a fair shake. We're gonna use it as much as we can um, and just see, I like this. I actually really like the, I, I, I like the setup, all right? Anyway, if you have any questions about this guy, the Freedom Platform Modular Holster, right? If you got any questions about it, let me know. Um, I probably don't know the answers to it, but if I can't find you the answers, I will point you in the direction of where you probably can find the answers to be at their website. Anyway, thank you, we the people, for sending this thing out. I really do look forward to, to trying this out. I think this is a good, a, an excellent idea for concealed carry. This is one of those kind of holsters that just makes sense, right? Other companies have done it. A lot of companies do it because it works, right? And if something really works, why break what is not broken or why fix what is not broken? I think I said that backwards. Anyway, yeah, why, why fix what's not broken? Do this kind of stuff. This is excellent and great. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to give this fair shake. If you have any questions about this, let me know. You'll be good to be safe and hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video.